Capricorn, divine soul, how are you? My name is Vince and welcome to 7D Tarot. Today I will channel some messages for you and if they resonate, give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you are interested in scheduling your own personal reading with your angels and me, all the info you need is in the description box below. Now for a totally fresh perspective catered towards us empaths, check out my wife's channel over at Empath Tarot. You will love her. You can find her info in the description box. Now let's dive right in Cap, see what we got going on. The Emperor, the Devil, Seven of Wands, and the Five of Swords. So expect a big decision, a monumental decision that is gonna change your life. This is actually a blessing. This is something that's gonna come in your, in your energy in the form of a surprise. At first, you may feel a little uncertain, a little wobbly, but understand that when you pass this test, because this is nothing more than a test to level up, showing spirit that you can take on more new opportunities, a lot of abundance is coming your way. But first and foremost, we got to be able to look at it from that perspective. We cannot let our ego, which is fear, distract us and tell you, oh no, something is happening to us. No, it's happening for us. Oh no, this is a curse. No, this is a blessing. Oh no, the glass is half empty. No, this is a glass half full. You've been waiting for this. You're basically waiting for a time to show spirit that, look, spirit, I am ready to take on more. Why? Because spirit only gives us as much as we can handle. That's how it works. Hence, imagine if everyone is waiting for you. Imagine if you had a friend and you're like, man, I just want to refer my friend to, you know, my boss so they can work for my for this company. We would, you know, make such a good team. But you're just waiting for your friend to get their ish together, right? Once they get their ish together, you're going to do it. But you're not going to refer them beforehand because you don't want to see them failing. Same thing with spirit. Everyone is waiting, your guides and angels. Now, when you are ready, when you stand up to your ego, when you create that protective bubble around yourself, and when you let everyone know that you are in control, that's when you take charge. You're leading the dance and everything unfolds for you organically. It's very, very important. So what do you want to do? Notice that this important decision is something that you want. So when it comes into your life and at first it seems scary because of change, change is always scary, embrace it welcome it. So rather than fear, use excitement. It's the same energy. Are you, are you scared that you have to change something or are you excited? For example, imagine if your landlord comes up to you and says, listen, we're selling the house, you gotta move. Are you scared you have to move or are you excited you have to move? It's the same situation. How you react to the situation, which is how you feel, will let spirit know what to do next. And at the end of the day, it's about results. It's at the end of the day, it's about feeling good, right? It's not about beating ourselves up, torturing ourselves, dying a thousand deaths, none of this. This is a human filter from our human experiences. Spirit is not about this. Brain fog, confusion, you know, uh, limiting beliefs, all of this energy right here, is all a human filter. Do not fall victim to this. You know what spirit wants? Happiness, joy, abundance. It is your birthright to be rich, healthy, wealthy with your soulmate. This is what everyone wants. And what happens is us humans, we tell spirit, we don't want this. Now, why would we possibly say this? We don't articulate it using words, but we feel it. Second guess it, doubt ourselves. Like attracts like law of attraction. Therefore, spirit gives us more doubt, right? You see where I'm going with this? So, find the confidence you need, stand up for yourself, against yourself, then everything will work itself out. So what do I do? Immediately, the first thing I do when I wake up is connect to my higher self. Why? Because I create that protective bubble around myself. When I, it's almost like wearing mosquito repellent, okay? Now, when I connect to my higher self, my ego is petrified. It doesn't want no problems. It doesn't come up to me trying to scare me and stuff. You know why? Because your ego is a bully. Your ego is not like some well thought out philosophical intellectual wisdom as person that has valid points. No, that's not how it works. Your ego is like a five year old child blurting stuff out that have emotion behind them so they seem real. That's all it is. Like you ever have a friend that just knew everything? Your friend was just like a know-it-all. They knew about the moon landing. They knew about like how to be the best, you know, uh, a scuba diver. They knew like even without scuba diving, they knew how to scuba dive. Do you know what I'm saying? That is your ego. And the reason your friend sounds so believable is the emotion they put behind it, right? Oh yeah, so that's all it is. So when you're able to see through this and you're like, huh, that point, then you're leading the dance, then everything starts making sense for you. And this is it, the King of Wands energy, which is of leadership. So right now, Big important decision coming, and right now be excited for it. When this comes, do not get scared, get excited. Tell yourself, oh yeah, I got the heads up from Vince. This is a time to level up. So spirit, watch me go. I'm not gonna be scared. I'm gonna be cool, calm, collective, and handle this. So for me, I connect to my higher self by journaling every single day. It's right here. 
right? I used to have this beautiful leather journal when I first started out. Now I go through them so much. I just grab a whatever journal and just write. Just make sure you got a nice pen because that's really what I know this makes a difference. Um, so therefore, it's just like it's super easy. I connect to my higher self, boom. Now I got mosquito repellent on. My uh, ego does not want any problems because again, it's not someone who has any valid points. It's petrified, right? But it realizes it can't bully you and it can't bully you. It stays away. At that point, I have inspired action. I take inspired action. Decision comes. I take inspired action. I deal with it. And then success. But it all starts from you embracing change. Embrace Ace of Wands, new energy. Embrace change. Change is your friend. Clarity comes from it. Everything you're looking for is right here, right? To do the same thing, expect different results is the definition of insanity. That's not you. That's not you at all, Cap. You are way too beautiful, powerful, smart for that. Now look at this. Wow. I'm very excited for you. This change is remarkable. This decision is based around exactly what you're looking for. You've been looking for a time to meet your soulmate, your kindred spirit. Divine timing's at play. It's happening right now. Right now. Let's get ready. Why? Look. First and foremost, I want you to know that who you admire, what you're looking for in your life, that inner peace, that family, that, that, that higher purpose, whatever, the kid, the, the, whatever it is that you really would bring you happiness with you and your soulmate, this person feels that same energy. The Ten of Cups is one of the most beautiful cards when it comes to this. You are in a very, very good boat with this person. You guys see eye to eye. On top of that, you are the exact same. Look what Spirit's telling you. King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. You are both, both nurturing, loving, caring. You're both grounded. You're both going to be alignment once you find each other this is unbelievable it's like basically imagine two dog breeds that meet up and they're like you're the same breed like when i met alicia when she opened the door when i went to a birthday party and she was the one the vibrations i felt it wasn't even anything i felt on planet earth it wasn't love i felt love before it was a vibration it felt like i was in a mach 5 g5 jet like a like a, like it felt like a g like a, the gravitational pull was crazy like i was like what the heck is going on here it did not seem from this planet it. I immediately recognized this person and I know each other from a past life. I knew nothing about soulmates, kindred spirits, a spirit, vibrations, frequencies, law of attraction. This was 14 years ago. I did not know, but I felt it. Okay. Now it makes sense. So you are going to know. Now, you know when I wouldn't have felt this if my attention and awareness was not on myself, because even then I knew I was an empath. I didn't know what the empath was, but I knew I could feel energy and I was very cautious to this. So I always made sure I took care of myself. If my mind was somewhere else, I would have passed this opportunity by. I wouldn't have even seen her or felt her because I would have been paying more attention on things that didn't matter. Oh, this person. Oh, that person. Oh, I feel bad. I don't look good. Blah, blah, blah. All limiting beliefs. I have them. You have them. You know, there's no difference. Don't be ashamed of them. Be aware of them, right? Don't be ashamed that you have bad thoughts. You're going to have bad thoughts till the end of time. It doesn't matter. I have too. Every single day, I have thousands of, of thoughts. Do you know how many of them are good? Very small percentage. Do you know how many of them are bad? Probably lots. Now, do I associate with those thoughts? No. Why? Because I am aware I am not those thoughts. That's not like Vince trying to talk to Vince. No, that's Vince's ego, which I don't take seriously because I look at it as a five-year-old child. I visualize a five-year-old child trying to tell me what to do. Would you let a five-year-old child drive your car? Then what are you doing in the back seat? Would you let a five-year-old child do your accounting? What the heck? Would you let a five-year-old child tell you what to do in a romantic relationship? No. Do not let fear, your ego, anxiety dictate how you live your life, Capricorn, right? You are the one with experience. So you have your ego, which is as old as your avatar, this meat suit, which is as old as your driver's license, says it is, what? Like for me, 37. And you have your soul, which is thousands of years old, which is right here. Everyone has a soul, right? This person, this soul has lived thousands of times, has been in thousands of different romantic relationships, started thousands of different businesses, has seen it all. Now, let me ask, who do you, who would have better advice? The 30, you know, the whatever, the however year old uh, ego that's like really a five year old child or your soul, right? It's a no brainer. You got this. All right. So. Ace of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, the Hermit and the Tower. Very interesting energy here for you. I am picking up some sort of energy that 
The fear that is holding you back, it really stems from you having fear of not taking action, right? Right now, the hesitancy, the stagnation energy, you can tell something is wrong because you could tell you should be doing more. And because of this, you can tell that something is off. But in order for you to get the success that you're truly looking for with that Ace of Pentacles, you have to understand that you can change that energy within a millisecond. Energy is like lightning, right? Immediately, you could change your vibration, your fortune, and get the confidence you need by connecting to your higher self of realizing who are you? Who are you, right? Write down who you are. Who are you? What are your morals? What are your ethics? What's your red line that you do not cross? What is non-negotiable in your world? What do you believe in? What are your core, you know, your mind state, your ideology? Now, you are not your ideology, but kind of understand where you are. Like, I am someone who's very loyal to my family. My red line is do not at all. You could say whatever you want to me, or you could say whatever you want to anyone around me. Words do not at all affect me. Words are a vibration, but do not physically put myself and my family in danger or anyone around me because that is my red line, right? And things like that, right? Who else am I? I'm someone who never will, you know, cast the first stone, you know, I, I don't do these things, right? So I know who I am and I stick to this code of ethics and, I, and, I, and I, at least I know who Vince is. Find out who you are. What's your code of ethics? Run with it and Capricorn, everything will unfold for you organically. All right, Cap, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like, subscribe and comment. I can't wait to your next reading. Till then, I'll say bye. But we'll chat soon.